If you are anything like me, you spend an unholy amount of time editing videos. You sit in front of your timeline, having no clue what edits to add. Then you get distracted and watch random YouTube videos. This process just repeats until 3 hours pass. And you still didn't make any real progress. I can relate to this, because it was me as well. I've been in this game for 6 years, and I think I've actually spent more than 10,000 hours editing videos full time, and today I'm gonna reveal you the 5 biggest things that helped me on my journey. Number 1 break the rhythm. Imagine you are playing a horror game. If you see the same jump scare every single time, the game just stops being scary. You see it coming, it gets boring. But if the game sets a pattern and then breaks it, suddenly you're on the edge. You don't know what's coming next. And that's when fear hits. What is that? What's happened? Why is everything... Editing works the same way. If your video is one constant on, people just tune out. But if you keep switching it up, music, visuals, jokes, you keep the viewer guessing. This literally does magic to your retention. Number 2. Make it smooth. Bad edits feel like sitting in a passenger seat with that one friend who can't really drive. And you, you are just praying to get out of that car. Bad edits feel the same way. But to make your edits smooth, like driving a Rolls Royce, you can implement this technical thing. Alright, we're in Premiere. And I animated these two scenes and I'm just gonna fix them with just a few simple tweaks. And the first principle you need to know when making a smooth text animation, always easy in your keyframes. And to use the transform effect whenever you're animating something, because this way you you can just toggle the motion blur. To do that, just switch the shutter angle to 180. And now we are quickly gonna make this text move up and down. Just change the curve to something like this so the text eases in nicely at the end. And we are also gonna keyframe the opacity from 0 to 100 so the text just doesn't randomly pop in out of nowhere. After this is done, we are gonna add a simple background and I will show you what backgrounds I personally use all the time in just a second. And this design is basically finished. The second principle you need to know is how to guide your viewer's eye in your favor. For example, check this layout. Can you tell what's wrong with it? Well, let me trace where the viewer will probably be looking. As you can see, at the end of this animation, the viewer will be looking at the bottom right corner. And when you move to the A-roll camera, he has to look around for a bit to find the focus point. You might think this is not a big deal, but trust me, this is really important. So that's why I added the text in the middle to begin with. So when I switch back to the main camera, the point of focus is basically in the same spot. But if you're seeing this video, I bet you're looking for more. You want to make clean, premium looking designs. This can be step 3, but I want to give you extra value, so fuck it. This is step 2.2. I'm gonna show you a simple habit that helps me turn basic looking animations into something like this in minutes. The secret is to start using presets. Basically, cutting out the whole process of going into After Effects, building out custom, more advanced animations, and then exporting them to Premiere Pro. <sighs> I just made for myself these presets because it allows me to use the power of After Effects without going through the pain of creating the same animations over and over and wasting my time. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I personally use. As you can see, I created a bunch of text presets for myself, backgrounds, CTAs, so I can just reuse them. I'll just open a text animation so you can fully see the power of this because it's just so good. I added these sliders which help me customize how the animations look very easily. For example, with one click, I can make it slide from the side or by selecting character instead of words, the characters now pop like this. You can tell it already looks so much better than before. And I can change the color of the gradient for the text so it fits my edit perfectly every time. And I've also added some glow sliders which I can use to adjust the glow strength. Looks too good, right? But you and I won't stop here. We want more. Because you can also create background presets. Why, you might be asking, wouldn't it be great if you could just change the color of the background with one simple slider? If you could customize the background to create depth in unique ways or being able to add extra effects to make it match your video and achieve the exact look you want. You can do that. I mean, look at all these different looks I'm able to achieve with this background preset. It's things like this that really help me out and that I use in all of my edits. And over time, I build a huge library of presets, transitions, overlays that help my videos look insanely good very fast. And since a lot of people kept asking me how to achieve the same look that I have in my videos, I put all the stuff that I use in my edits into one pack. So if you want to get access right now and start using it on your next edit, just check out the first link in the description below. 
Number three, the animations need a reason. You know when you see an edit and you can just tell the editor is sweating and trying to make it more engaging, adding tons of effects, slapping a meme every two seconds, and when he tries to export the PC just... And even though he spent so much time making those cool effects, now the viewers cannot understand anything from the video, end up clicking away in the first 10 seconds. Well, I don't want your video to feel like that. Always remember that every animation needs a reason. Maybe it's to highlight a joke, to emphasize important information, or maybe it's to visually explain something that words alone can't. You don't need to overcomplicate it, just keep this in the back of your mind when editing. Now. Cut your music to the edit, not the edit to the music. So you are out here trying to make the perfect edit out of the footage your client sent you. You've added all the clips in order, crafted the story around them, found a song with the perfect drop and it doesn't drop when the emotion peaks. But you don't want to change the edit since the storyline is already perfect. So you smash delete and spend another hour trying to find the right song, but you don't. Well, there's a much easier solution to that. Just cut the music to match the edit instead. This way you prioritize your story, which is the most important. And you don't have to spend so many hours trying to find the perfect, perfect song. All you have to do is find a point in my song that you can cut without people noticing. Then drag the drop part of the song where you want it to be, apply a crossfade and that's it. And don't forget sound design. I'm not going to go into full details since it's pretty straightforward. Just add a whoosh when something slides in, a UI sound when something is clicked. And the last thing, don't expect editing to be easy. Here, some people on YouTube might try to sell you on learn editing in 5-10 minutes, but yeah. That doesn't exist. If it did, every TikTok editor with CapCut would already be working with Netflix. Editing is just like any other skill. You can definitely use stuff that speeds up your learning process, but it still takes years to master. When I first started, I thought struggling meant I sucked or I was doing something wrong. But it just actually means you're leveling up. The only real secret to succeed is to enjoy the process. You've probably heard this a million times on Instagram Reels, but it's actually true. Because if you don't enjoy it, you'll probably quit and you won't get to the good part where you will start to reap the rewards of your work. So here's the hack. Edit what excites you, what you love. If you love editing gaming videos, double down on that. If you enjoy editing educational talking head videos, just find clients in that niche. The grind is only fun if you actually like the game you're playing. So there you have it. The five biggest lessons I've learned from spending over 10,000 hours editing videos. Break the rhythm so your audience never gets too comfortable, make it smooth so your edits don't feel like a car crash, give your animations a reason so they actually add to the story, make the music bend to your edit, not the other way around, and most importantly, accept that editing isn't the easy way out. I truly believe that if you include everything I mentioned, you will unlock the next level when it comes to editing. And if you want to get all the assets I showed you, so you can skip the boring part and enjoy editing, hit the first link in the description. I hope this video helped you, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you